Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are all fine. Today we are going to discuss keyword tools. How you can find your competitor keywords with the plugins. We have a two similar plugins which are uh, both successful and uh, very helpful to find competitor keywords and uh, it will they will help you to upload video on YouTube. So let's start. I am on a random video. Look when I scroll down on the right side, you will see something from video politics. That that's from something called Buddy to Buddy is a keyword tool and a plugins in for YouTube. And also if I scroll down far enough, you will see something called wide IQ. You these two tools, they are similar, very similar. I installed them both just to show them to show you side by side that you can see how similar they are. Look at this is a random video. This is not my video and I don't own this channel. But look, there is a, some tags that show you the keywords you can target that your competitor targets right away. You will see get ton of ideas. Also, there is a lot of checks that they do. For example, if you look at your video with their tool, they will give you a suggestion for what to do. For example, here you see high resolution thumbnail check info cards, not check and a screen not checked. You see these pointers to make sure that you don't miss anything when you uploading video. But most importantly, the best use of these is for uh, keywords so that you can get a lot of keyword ideas. <laughs> what your competitor are using. Now here, how to install these. And by the way, I have a both of them. You do either on the on that you like. What you would do would go to the Google Chrome Webster the Google Chrome, google.com slash Webster. These are a method uh, which you can open Google Chrome store. It will take you to screen that looks similar to this. And what you would do is search for what you want. So let's say you want that to buddy. I write it. You see how I wrote the buddy and auto. Correct me so too. Buddy for YouTube. It will say for me, here it is. You click on it for you. It will give you the option to install easily. Because I already have it. It gives me the option to remove. Obviously, I don't want to remove. In your case, you just say install. The other tool is a very similar. You will simply search for video IQ. And it will show you a bit IQ. And again, you will see and uh, say install here. You will have to go through a few steps to create your account, add your channel and so on, so on. There is a free. Both of these tools have a paid version. But in this video, I'm showing you what you can get for a free. Now let's do different examples. Let's say I search for yoga. And you will see these people's coming up for a yoga on the right side. These tools will give you some information. This information honestly doesn't seem like it's so amazing and so interesting. But it does kind of give you some hints about the competition. For example, very high competition, obviously, because it's a yoga volume also very high. So this is one of those more intense, highly competitive specs. But we already kind of know that had for a time uh, like we don't need uh, a tool to tell us this. So some of these things, uh, it tells us 
a little obvious not always in success some sometimes it gives you uh, opportunities like yoga at home you see it give you a score so some of those tools give you a little more data and of course you see here uh, this stay in the mo pro plan like the paid plan they give you a, a bunch more keywords a bunch more video ideas and by the way let's say you are doing yoga and there are a suggestion here free yoga well you could make a separate video targeting free yoga you could make uh, a separate video targeting yoga uh, you could make a next separate video for a yoga at home each video targeting these longer tail keywords slightly less competitive keywords and you can go less and less competitive and you can ultimately make a video for all keywords that it will suggest to you so that where you are going to be getting into a lesser competitive areas because if you are doing yoga and you are doing it the most competitive keywords uh, on the yoga and you don't have uh, a big channel yet well that's a challenge right so this tool kind of helps you to direct for your video now let me actually show you inside of your video upload how these tools also helps you here my youtube studio if i choose any video let's say this one doesn't matter which one when i scroll down and i go to my tags first of all looks this is from the rescue they give me suggestion for keywords none of these keywords are ideal but uh, they have a lot of suggestions obviously uh, you can see they always prompt me like upgrade you upgrade your tool upgrade your tool whatever and so this too buddy i really recommend it you just get one of these tool because they are very similar and if you get to it actually makes you makes your screens are very cluttered i actually don't use two at the same time i only did it that way to give you uh, give you for example but the idea is they do help you find more tags and they give you a few tags for a free but they will give you more tag if you pay but the cool thing also is they will have a some out suggest let's say i want to add tags for example this video is a like twitter marketing for affiliates so let's say we do affiliates twitter and actually it give us some uh, outer reach cracks so for example twitter affiliates marketing okay i will choose that i will add the and i will save there is some things you can do here that is a helpful and also for some of these queries it tells you uh, see these numbers 2 and 9 and here are 16 and 25 there is approximately where you had expect to mark now uh, for some reasons these two tools are giving different numbers very wide but uh, at least in the nice approximation the particular video is a video i launched likely yesterday so there is not lot of data on yet and uh, on the right side you see the uh, give you some checklist now this checklist is obviously not a particularly accurate because it says text count to 5 and you see 
I have many tags. What they really mean is a tags that uh, they suggest perhaps. But for most of their tags, they suggest you have to pay. So we will only use this as a guide, not as a rule of law. Let's say. But at the same time, these tools gives you a lot of very niche and guidance. And especially if you are a beginner, I will recommend it using of them. So especially when you create your next video, make sure you gather a branch of keywords from a lot of your competitive videos and choose the best ones for you. And also use the leftover keywords to plan additional videos so that you can have a playlist and a clusters of a videos so that ultimately you can overtake uh, some of your competitors. So friends, this is our today video. Uh, tomorrow we will come back with a new video with a new tips for a YouTube.